different. Instead of um, torturing one of your songs, I thought I'd torture one of Ivan's song um, because, uh, you know, it's equally fun. Uh, and also to keep things very real. So uh, I get a lot of email. Thank you. Um, and everybody asks, well, you know, but how does it really work? And how do you really function with uh, producers? And, um, and, and what do you get? And how, when do you make your choices? And, uh, you know, how much freedom do you have? And I thought, you know, why don't we do it? And then serendipitously, that's an actual word, um, Ivan sent me a, a track and said, hey, I'm working with this artist. This is the track. I was like, I love the track. Let's use the track as a guinea pig to do a real-time, real-life uh, system. So, oh, I have to reintroduce um, Katy because there was a British on I have a conscious behind me, my conscious name, Andrew. Um, so, Katy Palmer is the artist. And actually, Ivan, why don't you tell us a little bit, you know, how the track came to be and everything. Yeah, so uh, I've been working with Kathy for some time, super talented artist. She's from Guatemala. Thank you. And um, we've been working together for some time. And this actually was done via Zoom. Zoom, yeah. So we actually did this virtually. And I think that's that's an important thing to, to, to know because it can be done, right? And it all, it all really hinges off of the relationship that you build with that person. Um, so I started playing some ideas and she started vibing. We, we immediately came up with a really cool melody and I started just producing all around that. And then, um, you know, did all the drums, Addictive Drums too, And so all the stuff is just kind of like all in the box, virtual instruments, with the exception of the bass. But yeah, we, we really loved the vibe. And then I thought sending it your way to see if we can do something cool. And we're doing that cool thing right now. Perfect. All right. So um, here's what I propose we do. So to keep things real, because we're remote, um, most of the time I work by myself. And most of the time I, um, I end up in a place where I'm like, okay, this is great. But if the artist were here or if the producer were here, I would do this or I would do that. And over the last three, four years, three years, say, circa March 2020, you know, um, things started shifting and people were, well, I saw less and less people. And also, somehow I got more and more latitude. Like, our part of the whole, like, world melting down uh, meant that people were actually less willing to communicate with me and more willing to just let me, let me do my thing. So, so it changed my workflow a little bit so now I'm more I'm more daring I, in the in the past because let's not forget this is a um, it, it's an art form it's also a business right so say I'm sent a track and I spend eight hours mixing it or whatever it is and I take crazy liberties with the track and then I send it to art, the artist and the artist is like um what are you smoking then I have to undo that stuff which means I have to spend another four hours so you do that enough times and you realize that it's not really a good way to, to function if you're going to go out on a limb and not have the approval from the artist. So I have actually, over time, and we all did, um, developed kind of an instinct for what's acceptable and what's not. Uh, and how much of um, poetic license I have mixing the record, mixing the record. Because very often I end up being like, once you clear up the production um, and everything is in its place, then you find, oh, wow. I see what the producer meant, but it's not coming through once everything is cleaned up and sounds forward, or maybe there's not enough texture here because, you know, in that chorus, everything worked well on the demo, but now with this new energy, then there's not enough room for that part, and then it falls apart. So over the years, I figured out that, I don't know, you develop a certain instinct for what you think the artist is going to like or the producer is going to like and what you think they're going to reject, and then sometimes you're wrong. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to kick these lovely people out of here. And, um, and then I'm just going to go to town on their track. And then if I have a problem um, or a question, I'll, I'll check in. Um, and maybe you'll come back on. Uh, or I'll just, um, I'll see you in an hour or two. I don't know how long it's going to take me to decipher this track. And, uh, and then you can download your feedback uh, to me. And then we'll see how that goes. Does that work? Okay. All right. Well, grab grab some popcorn, my friends, um, and um, and I'm going to start by. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do this in Luna, because um, so ciao. Bye. <laughs>
Um, in his great wisdom and profession, um, thank you very much. In his great wisdom and prof professionalism, also a word, um, Ivan, aka Ill Factor, um, knows how to send tracks to mixers. So this is the folder. You can notice that I have a folder, it says stems, I have the key and I have the tempo. I love this man. All right, so. I'm gonna go in, I have a whole bunch of tracks and, ooh, look at this. Two track mix up there, easily findable because it's on top. And down here, a picture of the master bus chain. Thank you, Ivan. All right, I see what you're doing. A little bit of bottom, a phenomenal amount of high end on the back CQ. And the 250 at 30, I know how that sounds, we like that. And then this one, I do not know as well as I should. I already said this on a, uh, on a live stream before, but I see what's going on. All right, cool, well, thanks for this. This is super top. So now, uh, I have been branded, marked this territory and put a little eye everywhere and what seems like a couple spaces. You. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that. And the reason for that is because if I drag this into, uh, when I drag this into Luna, um, I don't know if Luna is going to use the right alphabetical order because it's going to, everything starts by I. And so it's going to make it more difficult for me to find the tracks. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to look for I and two spaces. I, two spaces, replace it with nothing. And that didn't work at all. Let's do it again. Oh, I, two spaces, replaced with nothing. And now it worked. Still working on it. Okay, cool. Great. Um, and now I'm going to create a track here. And the song is called Out There. And the tempo is a 79. I imagine it's in 4.4. We'll see. I'm definitely not going to put it in download. I'm going to put it in the same folder. Boom. There you go. Create. And then I'm going to take all my tracks and drag them in. Yes, I will import it to mix. Give me a second. Here we go. Brilliant. Boom, just thinking about it for a second. Dating the mixer, and now we have the beginning of a section. All very neat and clean. I'm zooming a little bit. I see what we have. All fits in one screen. That's good production. Let's listen to it, shall we? Oh, no. 
Awesome. So, um, Ivan is probably cringing right now because I played the raw tracks, not his mix. Um, and uh, that'll teach him to send me music. Uh, the reason why I did that is I want to know where I'm starting from. I, am, I will make sure that I beat the, well, try and beat his rough mix or mix. I don't know how rough he considers his mix. But the idea here for me is to, for me to be familiar with what's going on. I also took advantage of the the whole um, playback to organize all my tracks in a way that makes sense to me and see where the energy is and where it comes from. I heard a bunch of very interesting stuff. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is, I mean, clearly a great song. So I'm super motivated to do a good job here. Um, but I'm going to keep it very simple so that you guys can uh, follow and maybe um, pick it up where I left off. You never know. So I'm going to fix those slots so I see everything that's going on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this rule on my mix bus. Uh, and uh, it's going to show up on my iPad over there. So now I can see what's going on. So I press play now. And I will have my levels over here and see. Obviously, this is professionally done. Uh, so all the levels are cool. There's no distortion. Everything rocks. Um, it's not always like this. Notice that um, Ivan's production, raw tracks with all the fitters at zero and no processing, sounds like a song, sits about Spotify level, pro. Uh, I don't have to fight, I don't have to fix, I can mix. It's nice. Uh, I'm going to put mix up, up, and then um, I'm going to do, and I'll, I'll do this in the, in the public um, area after this, but for now I'm just going to make folder for your factor. Uh, with a uh, new folder, your factor, just your factor will do. And create a folder. And uh, -E. I know how to spell. And then I'm going to make a new track in here. And I'm going to go here, grab Ivan's Rough, drag and drop it here. And I call it out there. And Ivan to a track. And upload that. So that will allow us to A-B and um, be able to compare my work with his work to make sure I don't destroy his song or her song, their song. Um, so now I'm 
So if you may have noticed for a couple of beats, make sure that the stuff was time aligned. I turn the click on. It's time aligned. So if I use any delays, um, then I'll be in good shape. I don't have to worry about that. So the first thing that strikes me is I got to check out the vocal sound, make sure, because it's a very chill, it's kind of like a, could be like a modern Anita Baker slash um, Lysa Stansfield cross. Those of you who were born before last night will remember Lysa Stansfield. The other ones, it's okay. Um, good artist though. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see the vocal. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again, yeah. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there dealt with all the... So it's already um, pretty much the tone of it is decided and is already compression and everything on it. So I'm just going to let it be until I need to uh, spruce it up. By the way, we know this comes from Ableton because it says a, B, C, D, which is the way Ableton labels its um, effects track. I just want to know um, Vox plate reverb. Mm -hmm. So that's crucial to the sound, right? And then that too. Cool, so those three are going to hang with the vocal. That is kind of cool. It's a full, uh, BL20 is the arteria flanger, and that is not expected. So I'll have to make a note to use this in a creative way. So this one is super, um, has a very, very uh, clear personality. So I'm gonna move all the vocal effects with, next to the vocal. No need to re reinvent the wheel. So in this case, we have a conundrum. We have um, some sort of a delay or something that's both on the clap and on um, a synth. Is it crucial right now? I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, big room. Same. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so we saw that as typical here. Let's see what happens with this reverb. That's on the synth. I think I could do without that. Uh, sunset sound. I think we'll do without it too. Uh, EQ8. This one, this one I think I want to keep. Um, so let's see, uh, to not make any mistakes. There you go, I'm going to lower them, keep them like this. Um, and just in case I have afterthoughts, um, or second thoughts, sorry, uh, then I will, they will be there, but I know they're muted. And in case I do an unmute all, you know, I will end up with the weird stuff I didn't expect. For reference and for credit, um, this is what Ivan's mix sounds like. Okay, that's great. So obviously I have to beat something very good. Um, cool. Um, and then, you know, it may sound a little weird to hear somebody say, I have to beat the, but that's pretty much what happens. That's the spirit. You know, you get a track and you get hired to, to make it better and you have to make it better than the demo. And that's, that's what it is. You got to beat the demo. Um, so of course the higher up in level you go with the better producers, um, the more difficult it is to beat the demo because they're, you know, good mixers. Um, so I don't have to beat level, which is awesome. Notice that um, Ivan's um, demo 
rough mix is uh, not so rough mix is at a very reasonable level. And this never, ever, ever happens. I always get crushed tracks and it's a pain in the butt, technical term. Um, so, but not in this case. So um, it's actually gonna be difficult for me because I am so used to uh, pull into something um, that's already pretty heavy that um, and I'm, I'm not used to working at these reasonable levels anymore. I usually work 4 dBs louder than that. So I don't know how I'm going to handle that. We'll see. Um, I am going to have a limiter on um, because I feel that part of what could be better for this is have a little more density in the track. Um, I am going to use the backs. As you notice, I am already um, instantiating plugins um, on my mix bus before I do anything else. And then I know I'm going to use some a little bit of compression and I have been very much in love with the 2500. Uh, and then there's one thing I want to try. There's this new um, really awesome um, Hitsville EQ that my good friends at UA came in with and I'm going to put it on and I'm going to mute it right now and then I'll show you what it does later. It's pretty rad. Okay, so um, I get the, the stage set. Uh, let's start with vocals and I'm going to loop the chorus and just listen to that vocal stack, all four tracks together. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again, yeah. Is anybody out there? So I feel a little bit of a mask um, that I think could be a little bit cleaner in the 300 range. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again, yeah. Is anybody out there? Okay, so um, check it out. This is without. Listen to the, the space below the nose. Anybody out there who can feel my arms? With. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? So you could think, ah, that taking a little bit of the warmth away. Yeah, but I don't think that there's going to be room for that warmth. So I'm getting rid of it. It's my party. I'll cry if I want to. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Same problem. I'm just going to copy. And it's actually a little more pronounced. Is anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? Okay. The doubles, the, the, that really cool double also has the same thing. Anybody out there? Who can feel my arms again, yeah. Late. Anybody out there? Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this plate. I'm gonna honor it for now, but I don't know, it's not moving it's not moving me. Is anybody out there? So this is where we started a second ago. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. This is where we are. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? Cool, I dig. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mute everything else so I don't have to deal with solos so much. And um, and start building the track. Boom. So I think the second most important instrument after Katy, of course, is the bass. And it sounds real to me. Anybody out there? That's definitely real, or if it's not, I'm buying that plugin.
So I think this DI was designed to add point to the existing amp, not to be just a plain DI. I'm sure there's a reason for that DI to be, but right now I don't need it. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again, yeah. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Don't forget that you have access to um, Sugar as a um, proud Pure Mix Pro member. Is anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? I dealt with all the pain, yeah. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there who can feel my arms again, yeah? Is anybody out there? Jury is still out on that, um, on that DI, but I like where the bass is sitting right now. I'm actually gonna use, um, the uh, LA2A Gray from the UADX uh, collection, which is UA plugins without Apollos attached. Anybody out there who so the reason why I'm doing this is I felt like the, the bass could use a little more steadiness. I don't want it to sound more compressed, I just want it to sound more anchored, if that makes sense. This is without. Especially at that turnaround. Now check this out. More anchored. Subtle but nice. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? Okay. Little kick. Any So the low kick is intended to have the density. Move the snare in the right spot. So there's an overhead. Let's not forget this is a plugin, pretty surreal. Um, obviously, there's some skill involved there, but that is a really, pretty real sounding overhead. Um, I moved the, the hi-hat should come hang out here. What's the room about? Okay. That's another thing. So those levels are pretty low. That happens quite a bit in when you stem out of Ableton when um, there's a lot of gain on your mix bus uh, or, or your drum bus, for example, then your individual tracks are pretty low. It's okay. There's an all drum bus right here. Let's see what that does. So that's to make sense. All right, so let's see what the, the vibe of that track does with the bass. Who can feel my arms again, yeah. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? I dealt with all the pain, yeah. Is anybody out there? Let's see what I can do. So um, it feels to me, let me open all, all the drums like this. Uh, what did I do? Yes. And get rid of whatever solo I have. Um, I just did something silly. I muted the main. Special, don't try this at home, folks.
I really dig a more kind of crude um, sounding thing, not as slick. So I'm gonna put all the drums into, except the bass drum. Actually, I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna keep the dip, deep kick out of that, and I'm gonna put all the drummy drums into one bus. I'm gonna call something really original like drum bus um, from the output format, and I'm gonna put the neve on it. And it's gonna sound like this. Bass running at the same time. Star, I'm probably going to lo fi here. Okay, that's there. So I'm not sure what the intention was, but I like the bottom layer more. I'm gonna use the trusty SP2016 reverb, which by the way, you also have access to as a uh, proud Pure Mix Pro member. See, all the tones are good, I'm just trying to add some shape. Now this guy, This guy is about to get sugared. There you go, I'm copying it from the bass. And probably a little bit of extra oomph. UEDX again. Now this, I'm gonna go here and get myself a little more headroom by using the clip gain. Um, I like to work in increments of uh, recognizable levels so that when I come back to this six months from now, it's like, what, was that? what happened? Why is this clip gain? Like if it's plus six, it's me. So it's not a mistake. Um, let's go back to our course. Actually, this go anywhere. And also, you can see here that the, the dip, that kick, deep kick is getting pretty heavy. There's also dynamics in here. Let's, who wants dynamics? Let's copy this. Okay. Let's see the vibe. Sugar this too. And I think what we should do is we should have 
a little bit of parallel action going. So I am going to create a sand from everyone here. Actually, I'm going to do the main kick, the snare, the snare layer, not the toms, not the tom loop, and the overheads, and all that. And then I'm going to create a call uh, drum par. And I'm going to route from, say, sand one. Um, I'll use the summing sure, create, cool, and I'm going to put the 1178 on this. Another plugin that you have as part of your fabulous, and I use the term carefully, PMX Pro subscription. the attack down a little bit. Notice that in Luna I can solo the return on my parallel and here just that. It's nice. Okay and then let's tuck that in. Ivan's bus helps. Okay, so I like the energy, but I don't like the tone. So let's... Um, the energy comes a lot from the subdivision, which I um, sort of kind of ignored in a ruthless kind of way. And I apologize slightly, Mr. Mrs. Hi hat. I don't know. It's hi hat. I was getting a feminine. I really dig this tom loop. I think I'd like to um, actually try something else. Like try Devil Lock maybe, to give it a smidgen extra, <laughs> another technical term. Nice. See if this, um, how we're doing with the uh, lead vocal. So I'm gonna actually group all this uh, lead plus effects so that when I unmute one, they all unmute. bit of a, a mask here that prevents me from bringing that bass drum and enjoying this bottom very well. So I'm going to make a hole here. Is 
There's a couple more drums. Let's see. Let's see if they're crucial. Uh, so the live drum bus, we sort of kind of decided no. Uh, verb claps. Oh, yeah. Hi. Who are you? Weapons down, I'm here. Am I jumping? i falling in love. Hate to fight. All right, there's also a tambourine break right here. Anybody out there who can feel my okay, let's get out the side. Is anybody out there? It's got more of a has a little bit of a Latin pocket flavor to it with that those downbeats. It's cool. I'm hoping my heart breaks Whatever love does High lows, gain or loss We end up in the same place Nice singing. Uh, all right, so I'm on a... I'm going to give myself some headroom by raising the gain on those two things. Well, I guess you could technically say lose some headroom since I'm raising the gain, but no one's watching. So I'm doing what I want. But I'm hoping my heart. Let's be wild. Let's do 12. Ain't no stopping me now. Uh, 12. Let's see. Is anybody out there? I dealt with all the pain, yeah. Is anybody out there? Yeah. I don't know where the story goes. But I'm hoping my heart. So I'm getting this cue from the, um, I'm getting this clear cue from the clap that, um, cheesy reverbs are okay. It's nice. I dealt with all the pain, yeah. Is anybody out there? I don't know where the story goes. But I'm hoping my heart breaks. Whatever love does, I lose. These feel a little too real for a Friday night, even though it's not Friday. It's Friday? It's not Friday. Um, let's see um, what we can do. Pocket. Uh, right, right. Clap, 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 clap. Tambourine, shaker. Oh yeah, that's part of the subdivision. I need this. Cool. Is anybody out there? 
Let's check out the vibe on the verse, which is somewhere around here, I believe. Like the old compression here more, and that this is way too much. My approach is way, way drier, which is a tendency I have, so I have to be careful with that. Let's see what happens if I... Oh, by the way, I was just checking um, Ivan's rap. I really dig this. I think that's part of the signature. Let's, make, let's hope it's in phase. If it's not in phase, I happen to own that plugin. That the um, the deep kick is has a, this weird transient that bothers me. So let's try again. And so I just sped up the attack on 1176 and it got rid of that stuff that was bothering me. Sometimes life is simple. Wait, wait, wait. All drum bus is what we didn't like. Live drum bus, I did not hear. What am I doing? I don't like it either. Don't tell Ivan. All right, so let's see. Uh, oh, 23 audio, 24 audio. It's a surprise mystery track. What could it be? Time will tell. Sounds to me like a bridge pad. And what's this one? That sounds more like a bridge thingy. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a thingy. Uh, cool. Move that there and put it, go hang out with the little buddies over there in the synth corner. Boom. All right. So now that we have the skeleton, let's see what the backbone is. Um, Rose. Actually, two. Rhodes 1 comes after Rhodes 2. Okay. Okay. For said to be a negative. To do, I have to do something with the toms. Those are iconic. I got to do something special. But for now, I just want to move forward on the vibe. Here I am. Weapons down. I'm here and I'm jumping. I'm falling in love. Hate to bite my tongue, but my default set to be a negative. And I'm gonna make a, um, an all drum group 
because I'm feeling like I'm in the right spot, but I don't want to have to push the vocals and I want to keep um, my headroom okay. So instead of bringing everything else up, I'm going to bring the drums down a little. Here I am, weapon Get a little more, a little more level out of that one so I can push it up without painting myself into a corner. That's actually the top of the song, that's here. harmony there that's cool right so we need something to support it uh, and I feel that oh acoustic guitar let's find that out okay not at all what I expected awesome let's try oh and it plays also on the chorus I can feel my arms again, yeah Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Super pumpy, I don't know if I can use it this way I mean, I guess I can, but do I want to? It's kind of a twang color, it's not really crucial to me. Of course, it could be a lot more interesting. So yeah, that, that does part of the trick, 7.2, so I'm going to do the same here. Um, how are we doing back there? Very good. Yeah, everybody's cool. Any questions? Ivan's answering most of them. <laughs> Thanks, Ivan. Sorry about the torture of your song. I like this a lot. So there's a, wait, I heard synth. I have a thing for synth. I will eventually find it. There's a Mono Juno. Sus, cute. But I'm hoping my heart breaks. Whatever love does, high lows, gain or loss, we end up in the same place. Trying to hold it. That's 
something is fuzzy here. Is the who's playing the sus? It's not, which is why I was getting this little chill. I'm gonna fix that. Don't know how, but I will fix it. Uh, next. Ooh, that's awesome. So this is a little thick. Uh, I mean, by itself is cool, but I, I won't be able to use it as much if I don't um, mutilate it. And I'm thinking that uh, this guy would be a great way I think that's a really good name for that track. Why don't we do something? Guilty pleasures, guilty pleasures. Yay. Ha, baby. Long time no use. So what else makes the chorus? There's something called chorus drone. That's pretty awesome, let's see. Who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody up there? I don't think we need the drone. So now you watch in, in about an hour, Ivan is going to say, uh, there was a drone there, dude. What are you thinking? Anybody up there? Who can feel my arms again? Cookies come. Oh, yeah, they come first chorus normal. Anybody Second. I don't want to be stuck in that same memory with the same old me. Arpeggio, arpeggio. Some of my best friends are arpeggios. Little fuzz like that. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah, is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? I dealt with all. I'm a little worried about this decision. Let's see what Ivan intended. that far off in the intention. Okay, so what else do we got for texture? 
for the choruses. Vocal chops. Hi. Yes. That's a cool, cool sound. Let's see. If you see me reorganize tracks a lot, it's because I'm trying to keep my brain in one piece um, and to know where things are when I'm looking for them. Kids playing. Okay, and I organize stuff by sections. So whatever plays first comes to the left or the, to the top, if you look at it this way. Um, so now I know that it starts like this and Roads 2 is going to go above Roads 1. So when my brain says like, where is that track? I'll know where it is because where I am in the arrangement. You know, the bottom is really cool. Um, all very subtle and all very nice. It's nice. Um, okay, where am I? I'm just missing, essentially, well, there's a bridge sense. And then, um, and then I'm in vocals. And then I start doing stuff. I don't know where the story goes. Major. feeling that this branch sense is the combo of these two. Let's check. Yeah, so the, the two track name 2324, we're actually not supposed to be part of that session. Thank you for coming. Boom. And I'm going to decolorize them so that I don't look at them as contenders. However, I have a feeling maybe just maybe I could do something, you know, unhealthy to them later. We don't know. And let's go back to the bridge where we were. Uh, it's about here. I don't know where the story goes. But I'm this big concert hall is a great way to create height. This one is partially useful in low DSP.
cool. I see. I still have my Pro Tools Twitch where I save every every so often. I don't need to with Luna because Luna saves all the time. But I still have this, you know, when I do something and I feel like, oh, maybe I'm doing something uh, weird that I want to revert or something, or I, I do a save, bad habit. It's a good habit, depending on how stable your system is, but it's a bad habit now because it's working. With the same old Let's do the rest of the vocals, and I have a couple ideas. Let's see. Is anybody out there? I can feel my arms again, yeah. Is anybody out there? Okay, so these two are friends. Is anybody, is anybody out there? Who can feel my arms again, yeah. Is so I have a vision of what it should sound like in this bus. So I'm going to use that first, and then we'll see. That's cool. So it's a little thick. Is anybody out there who can feel my arms again? What if is anybody out there? I dealt with all the pain, yeah. Is anybody out there? This has gotta have a certain tail to it. So I'm gonna create a new and call it a vox tail. Not tiao. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, what would be good here? Try the chambers. I don't know how to spell chambers. I should keep my day job. Chambers. These chambers, please. Let's see. Anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? That's so good. Is anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? Maybe we could. Is anybody out there who can feel my arms again? Yeah. Is anybody out there? That's nice, Saul. Is anybody out there? Another bus is the BGV hook bus. If it goes like this. With the same old me. So that's really woolly for me. Um, I'm gonna take care of this. With the same old me. I'd rather, With have, the same old I'd rather have it thinner and, and louder. Uh, oh, she's gonna help me do things. It's not this one. Come on, girl. There you go. It's this one. With the same old me. With the same old me. Don't need to find. With the same old me. With the same old me. So that 
vocal is already in the reverbs um, because it's, the direct is dry. With the same so it's somewhat one of these reverbs. With the same on me. And that's a bit much for me, but with the is it this one? With Sorry. Let's see. Uh, don't tell anyone I did this. Do not tell Ivan I did this. You already told him. It's unfair. It's my privacy. All right. What does this do? Oh, this may be good. Let's see this. Same memory with the same old me. And I can choose my reverb. Thank you very much. Same memory with the same old me. Cool. That's great. Uh, so these are the hooks that are um, melted into that one. So I'm going to mute them. And thank you for the premix, the very good premixes, Ivan. Saves time. And then there's a bridge harmony. There's ad libs, and there's spoken word. Well then, and there are two tracks of spoken words and two tracks of ad libs. So I'm going to move those closer to the lead, and give them a more leady kind of color, so I know that these are special. Um, DD is a word, absolutely. And then um, the Vox tail can go hang out to the back because it's actually both on the lead and the backgrounds now. What does the spoken word do? Thank you for asking. Honestly, I see. Honestly. Honestly. Hate to find my tone, but my Unexpected and cool, let's use it. Honestly, maybe less. Honestly, hate to find my tongue, but my What's the next one? This one says, Oh, me, don't need oh, me. <sighs> I sense a little frustration from the performer. <sighs> I see that. Oh, me. What does the second one do? Let's move this one up. And what else you do here? And then that allows me to do this. Uh, what's that thing called? Shema. I don't think this is necessary. I'm going to take the huge risk of muting it. I think it's in the way of her performance. To find a perfect thing to hold on If you're looking, want to give this love away I why that's there is because something's missing on that pre-chorus. Giving it up I don't want to be Stuck in that same memory I'm giving it up Cool. This is gonna cost me hours of my life, but I'm muting it. I don't want to be detail oriented, but this sounds to me more like an ad lib than a spoken word. And what's happening here? Where are you, man? That's useful. Um. Is anybody out there? Where are you, man? Is anybody out there? Is 
So let's see what we can do with the ad libs. That's pretty dope. We all want it. gray so we don't need them and then there's the bridge harmonies there's three of them what do they sound like uh let's try this guys okay ooze so let's group them into a oo bus from ooville there you go and um, this is definitely going to need some thinning and a little bit of reverb. Take that. Let's listen to what um, this can do. Check out on the verse. Um, let's see. So this new, newish, uh, Hitsville EQ uh, by our good friends at UA. So it's off right now. And I'm just gonna put it on and off without any EQ on it. Just the tone of the box. Hate to bite my tongue, but my Listen to the transits on the vocal and listen to the togetherness of the bass and the bass drum. With. Hate to bite my tongue, but my default set to be. Without. Hate to bite my tongue, but my. It goes like this. I'm not even EQing. With. Hate to bite my tongue, but my default set to be a negative Very awesome. And I'm going to bet you that this is going to live on my mix bus um, from this point on, even flat. Just like I have those old Neumann's hardware over there that live on my mix bus. Flat, just because of the tone of the box. This one does that. But then, on top of that, you could do this. Hate to bite my tongue, but my default set to be a negative. One too many, one. Hate to bite my tongue, but my default set to be a negative. Now. Hate to bite my tongue, but my default set to be it did that thing to bring just like support under the vocal like this um i i love this thing i just i just do it's one of those like sounds good flat boxes and um i i, I really dig it um so where am i i'm here so i heard earlier um first questions comments joy happiness and other things. A lot of good comments. 
Good comments are great. A while ago, someone asked why I start mixing with the bass. Mm. The reason why I, I, well, I started with the vocals, to be fair. Then I went to the bass because I felt that that's the thing that had the most personality, like the most um, recognizable tone. And also I like to, to be able to start up there, um, have the, the start of the show as, you know, the singer, and then bring some sort of an anchor in the bottom to be able to find some space for the drums around. It's a visual thing, but it, it just, I don't know, it just works for me. I could also have gone to, to drums after that, but I felt that the pocket comes more from the bass here. That's the most interesting thing. So I wanted to give it its due um, and make sure there was nothing I needed to do about it. Now, I feel and um, that the pre-chorus Before I do anything creative, let me take care of everything that's there. I'm gonna make a tom bus and I'm going to uh, make it low fi low impedance, not low fi Let me find it. those toms are kind of like the key here at the intro and Try to do the lock on them. See? Yes, yes, yes. Here I am. All right, so here we need like a ch church, like uh, something. Like, I like these guys, they make wacky plugins. A bit much. That's cool. That's brighter. Come on. Drums are almost there. I think they need a little more density. So I'm gonna um, clamp down on the parallel a little more and then uh, see if that does it. And if not, I will raise it further. Here I am, weapon That's density, but now the snare is too loud, so. Here I am, weapon shine, I'm here, and I'm jumping, I'm falling in love. Honestly? Hate to find my tongue, but my default said to be a negative Toms a little bit. Here I, here I am. Or should we just full, go full on cheese? I have a license to cheese in French. Uh, let's see. Here I am. Let's try it. Ah, no, that's too cheesy. That's Swiss. Here we go. Let's try that. Here I am. Weapon shine, I'm here and I'm jumping. I'm falling in love. Honestly? Hate to find my tongue, but my default 
Not help but feel that. Well, I like everything here. Um, we'll see what they say, but I feel I'm just gonna go wild. I feel that pre-chorus needs a part, and so I'm gonna use uh, Opal and I'll call it Preco Pad with a P, and wait for a second. And this is Opal. Um, probably be easier if I had a keyboard. Um, so this is my trusty uh, travel or Turia little mini key thingy, which tends to live in my travel bag, hence the name. Sometimes I also use an X key, which is the flat one. And so the X key is cool because it has full size keys, um, but it's, it kind of feels like you're playing, um, I don't know, chiclets. And this one feels like a trampoline and it's, the keys are too small. Maybe when I grow up, I'll get a proper travel keyboard. Uh, let me plug this in. The beauty of the Arterio one is it just works. Um, so I am going to put this in. And I have to turn ARM on. And I have no latency. Life is a beautiful thing. Thank you, Luna. All right. Um, you know, while we're here, um, slightly stopped. I propose that we do, uh, because I get a lot of email about my setup and my, my rig and my desk. So I thought that uh, we talk about that for a second. So um, you're with me? All right. So about a year and a half ago, I switched desk and I got this Argosy uh, desk. Come again? Turn yes, coming. Um, uh, I, I got this Argosy desk, and it has many features. Let me show you. Boom. So the way I'm set up is um, everything I need 80% um, of the time is in the desk, and the stuff that I need less or don't need to touch is in the side rack over there. So what do I need all the time? I need my three control surfaces, as you can see, I use them a lot. By the way, we're working off um, an M1 laptop today. And I just have one Thunderbolt cable that connects um, my laptop to everything in the room. And I just travel with this one machine. It has all my music on it. Um, and uh, I have all this stuff. Then I have my mix bus for when I mix analog over there on the, uh, on, to my right. And so it's my classic chain. I have my dangerous liaison down here. And then I have a Bax EQ, dangerous, compressor, that Neumann uh, EQ I was mentioning, which is um, flat 98.3% of the time. Uh, a, smart, um, a smart C2 compressor, which is an SSL clone, but I use um, exclusively in parallel. I have um, my stereo magnet pull tech, my trusty GML EQ, and then a 2500. Um, recently, I've been using a um, on Fairchild, uh, on a lot of the music I do because I like the tone of it. I basically don't use it for compression, but for, for uh, transformers, mostly transformer sound. And one of the reasons why I switched to this desk is because A, it gives me space to put keyboards and stuff. It's got the racks built in. It's got seven on each side. I have a bunch of 500 series here in case I want to do inserts. Um, and then I have my, my mix bus. And there's enough space for all these controllers and for my headphones, my little side speakers. So I have my eye louds here. I have my keys over there, the key threes, which are now my main mixing speakers. And then I have a little dangerous source here on the desk and everything is reachable. And I use the source um, to push my headphones. And these days I use these Medze Elites, Elite, uh, which are a hi-fi headphone, but it's super amazingly accurate to me and they are very comfortable. So I love them. And uh, all this is extremely comfy. I also have the Stream Deck that uh, Mark Abrams um, bought me for Christmas one year. And I use it to automate stuff when I work in Pro Tools. And one of the main 
features of this desk is that everything is built in, including all the wiring is hidden in the desk. And also, because I do quite a bit of production and I like to go to my sense around the room, I can change the height of the desk, which means I can work standing or I can work sitting. So a lot of people ask me that, by the way, it's so dope because you're always in the right posture, in the right position to do what you want to do. I really dig it. Um, a lot of people ask me, but what do you do with the speakers when, when the, um, the desk is up? I, like, I don't care. I mean, I'm over there anyway, and I come back and I do my stuff, and it's been working just great. Um, so this desk has been really awesome. It's called an Aura desk. It's been really, really, really great. And we use the sun anchor stands because they are so solid um, that they actually, with the, with the little um, isoacoustics pucks, they actually absorb so much of the transmission of the bass that it doesn't really translate into the, the floor. So even if I run bass heavy tracks, I cannot feel the bass in my feet, which means I really can hear it or feel it with my body, but not with transmission. This desk has been, um, has been really a life changer for the comfort. And we actually got another one for the new room downstairs, the Magic, a smaller one, a more like personal one. And they work great. So, um, voila, that was the little segment on um, the desk, the speakers, the controllers, and everything. Uh, voila, so I'm, I'm gonna still talk to Ivan, so I wanna keep this here. Um, and I'm gonna make some music. So my feeling is that, um, we need a pad here or some sort of an energy thing. I'm using a UA Opal, which comes either with, or you can buy for Luna, it comes as part of the Spark. You can use Spark anywhere you want. I'm just doing that. Mm -hmm. That's a little grand. So let's go towards the bottom. And this thing's in D, right? There's something there. Let's go there. but I don't like the aliens. So I imagine the aliens at the scramble. Let's see. Here I am, weapon shot. Thing here. It's just a pre-chorus. With the shame on me. Don't need B flat. I changed the sound without wanting to. Cool. Uh, it was a B flat. Don't need to find a perfect. Don't need to find a perfect thing to hold on if you're looking. Wanna give this love away? It's G minor, right? Uh, I don't hear the major. Feel that the uh, uh, this is be it's 
feels a little pompous. So maybe if I do... Let's see how it feels in the track. Let's record it. Mm. On me. I didn't realize there was a pre roll on top of it. Uh, here we go. You're gonna omit the third because it's too too typified. So I'm gonna play. B flat. I'm gonna play the third, and it's gonna sound better, I think. Let's give it a little more energy. Try uh, EMT. Yeah, gloss. We keep with the theme that um, I haven't said and do this guy. Okay, I'll record. Makes the chorus lift by removing all that texture. Let's see how it works. It up, I don't want to be stuck in that same memory with the same old me. Don't need to find a perfect thing to hold on if you're looking. Wanna give this love away? Is anybody? I dig it. I high passed it because it was a little too thick. I think the next pre-chorus is around here-ish. Uh, maybe this. I dig. Uh, another thing, uh, this camera. While I'm here and I'm um, uh, reinventing Ivan's wheel, um, I'm thinking we need a little oomph oomph on the chorus. So let's call it oomph. We'll see if it'll be oomph oomph later. Uh, or pal's great. And like I have a, a Juno 60 fetish, as you may notice in the back. And I hear, always hear a Juno part. And I have a Juno like preset I use on everything. So let's see. I'm putting record. No latency. So we said D. So that's cool. Add some reverb already. Anybody? That's cool. Let's see. Listen to it once or twice.
together. Um. too sweet. Uh, I'm going to keep it in and then um, a little, maybe a little too... I don't know. So it's there, it exists. We can negotiate later when we grow up, if we were to grow up. Contrast a little energy like this. Let's listen to it once loud. Here I am, weapon shine on here, and I jump in, I fall in, in love. Honestly, hate to bite my tongue, but my default said to. I'm giving it up. I don't want to be stuck in that same memory with the same old me. Don't need to find a perfect thing to hold on. If you're looking, want to give this love away. Is anybody else? I think this is gonna need um dun, dun, dun. 
here you can really hear the third. So, and then it goes boom, boom, ba da. Let's see. Gives it a little bit of space. A little bit less space. Bet you my shirt, which um, is not much, that this little glitch here is not needed. That's fair. All right, so. This was pretty good to me. I think we should um, see how it feels to our, our victims. Ivan and Katy. So I'm going to go back to the uh, to the Zoom thing and see if it's going to work again. No upcoming meetings today. I believe that's a lie. Somebody programmed the meeting too short. Let's make a new meeting and I'm going to text Ivan. Uh, sure. And uh, boom. Shakalaka boom. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to Ivanka Trump. Not today. We said everything we had to say to each other. Uh, let's see. Uh, there you go. Here, my friend, come visit. A 
I feel fuzzy. I look fuzzy. It's amazing. Let's see. Hey. My friends, how are you doing? Hold on, hold on a second. Let me mute you. I oh, yeah. Mute you. I love to be muted. Yes. What's up, champ? We've been, we've been, we've been spying in every now and then. Okay. We just, you actually decided to make another record during the process. <laughs> Good idea. There's no yeah. time like the present. How are you guys? Yeah. How are you guys feeling about what you heard recently? Or should I play it so that you can hear it? Or did you just hear it? Yeah, can you a give us a, yeah. a topic? Because we were going in, we're like, oh, cool. He added like an alien talking backwards. I love that. Yes, yeah. Well, actually, that's that's you. But yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take advantage of this to listen to it on headphones. So that way we don't have to um, to mute this. But you may have to. I don't know. This is not modern technology. Uh, let's see. I'll mute on my end. So we'll listen. I'll just mute so it doesn't go loop, uh, playback. Fair enough. All right. So here we go. Um, I added two parts um, because I felt, and one of them I really feel strongly about, one of them my jury and myself are still out. Uh, here comes the song. Can you not hear it? Hold on, hold on. I just realized I had it play on YouTube, so just... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm that guy today. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, just hang out. Should I play it now? All right, let's do that. That's fun. Is anybody out there looking for you? 
Et voilà, Et as, voilà. We, as we say over there in the old world. Uh, wow. All right, first reaction. I'm gonna let her start first. Oh, I'm <laughs> on the spot. No, it sounds great. Uh, I love one of the additions. Okay. The other, I'm kind of like you. I'm on the fence about. Yeah, yeah. the the bell one. I don't know. I th it may be the yeah. sound. It just need. I felt he needed something there. Um, I, I don't know. You know, it's it's like I was inspired at that moment. The pad, yeah. the pad in the pre-chorus works, right? Yeah. Yeah. The pad, the pad was really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it, adds, it adds the nice substance on there. Mm -hmm. The bell, we, we, I thought it was like took a lot of the attention. Yeah. Uh, it, and it worked well at the last chorus, second half. Uh, yeah, as a uh, as a lift. Maybe that's what I, I just keep it there. Yeah. Because we haven't heard it before. So maybe what if we copied that um, arpeggio on all the choruses? Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, how um, you know that's like listening with you in the room, which changes it. Well, in the room, you know, in the Zoom, listening with you in the Zoom, um, of course, makes everything different because you know when the cat walks in the room, everything sounds different. You know, so you and and you, Caddy. So basically, the idea is I miss something on that chorus. Um, the part that I came up with. It's good enough for jazz, but this ain't jazz, so no. Uh, but um, I think let me try this. Let's see what happens if I do this thing. Funny you mentioned that because in the in actual production, I had the arpeggiator in every chorus. I think it I, should it should be there. That was my initial thing, and then I was like, "Oh, I'll mute it so that it feels like it lives in the last chorus." I was missing the depth that you created in the mix. Yeah. Now there, the arpeggiator, that the the shimmer that that yep. brings. Yeah. That's what I was missing. So let's see how this feels now. Um. I think it's a must. Uh, and then and then we can leave the little belly thingy uh, at the end. We can we can we can sleep on this. I think that um, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. a nice addition. Or maybe I can come up with a, a more of a square wave sound. I don't know. Yeah, it, the square will probably cut through. Yeah, the, yeah. The, it feels I, I was missing something a little melancholy, angelic quality to it. You know, so the the arpeggio does that. I think we should keep it on the choruses. Um, um, apart from that, you know, listening to it with you in the room, I feel comfortable um, comfortable with all my choices. If you guys are. Um, yeah. I'll print a version with and a version without my um, little bell, yeah. and then um, and then you can think about it. Anything else? It's a hybrid, by the way. It's real bass and moto bass from IK Multimedia. Ah, so the 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 bright pingy one is the plugin. Yes. Cool. Great. I'm gonna get that plugin. Um, it's very nice. Um, and yeah, I really dig, I dig what you did with the drums. I love that tom fill. Um, I love all the repetitiveness of it. It's very um, hypnotic. That's the idea. So, uh, voila. Katy, do you have anything else? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good for now. Okay. She wants the bridge to reverse. She wants to, if you can just reverse the bridge and then, and then change everything, I have to modulate. And yeah. Go. Yeah, it's the classic, you know, I love everything here. Uh, I just want to adjust uh, tempo, key, lyrics, <laughs> arrangement, and uh, and maybe the title. Yeah. But everything else is cool. Everything else is cool. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. This has been absolutely awesome. 
Um, I love I love working on this because I was able to mix, not fix, which is great. Um, and for all you guys out there, um, don't forget to. I'm supposed to say this. I was. Uh, I'm grounded if I don't say it. So you ready? Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and ah, a like, like. Thank you, boss. Yeah, like, like and subscribe or subscribe. It's somewhere. You gotta subscribe. Yeah. It's, it's, thank you. Thank you. He's my he's my mentor right here. Um, and um, and I will be printing this both versions, and I will be uploaded both this version. Uh, versions as well as um, Ivan's mix into the mix-up, which will be in the comments below here, no later than very soon, or maybe a little bit after that, because I have to go to the bathroom. All right, thank you very much. All right, guys, take care. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.